So I'm here with Jeremy Witherspoon, a well-known name around Canada for uh, Olympic athlete as well as uh, competing at the Worlds and all that kind of thing. And now you're you're coaching over in Germany, is that true? Yeah, I'm a speed skating coach in uh, Germany. It's the, the team I coach is called the Kia Speed Skating Academy. So even though it's based in Germany, it's not a team of German skaters, it's a team of skaters from a lot of countries around Europe and other parts of the world that don't have funding or don't have programs or don't have facilities or coaching. And so um, we, we, just, uh, we developed this team in order to keep skating a, a sport competitive and, and have a more broad base of competition across many countries. Here we were um, helping out with the Kelowna Speed Skating Club for a day. Um, they uh, wanted to, uh, I'm in town, I just happened to be in Kelowna and for my sister's wedding and she happened to be on the national speed skating team and the guy she's marrying also happens to be on the national speed skating team. So there was a few skaters in town this weekend so um, Nancy Goldman from the Kelowna Speed Skating Club thought it'd be good if we come out, you know, just uh, meet some of the skaters on the, in, from the club because that's a nice experience in itself. I remember when I was a young kid it was great to meet some of the, the bigger skaters that you only saw or read about and um, on TV and um, and also to you know show them a bit of what it takes to to train hard and and but also just to uh, to make a connection. I think that's important. You know, someday I'd like to be back in Canada coaching. I think it'll be a great education and a great um, uh, learning experience for me before um, bringing myself back with better coaching skills to Canada. We're here with Nick Goplin, who is a speed skater who is competing to try and get into the Sochi 2014 Olympics. Yep. And so you're training hard right now. Um, can you tell me a little bit about what um, aspect of your technique that you really need to focus on in order to increase your speed when your you're speed skating over a long distance? Um, well, the way speed skating works, usually you pick up speed on the corners and then you just hold it on the straightaway. So the corners are always key to any any skater's uh, success. Something some people may not be aware of is how we offset our blades from our boots. Lots of times we uh, the blades actually aren't centered on our on our skate. They're a little bit to the left so that we can get a better push. Can you take us through like a race from sort of beginning, you're in the starting and just sort of some of the feelings and some of the things that you would be thinking and experiencing as you're going through that? Uh, well as a distance skater, like my my distance is the 5,000 meters, so that's 12 and a half laps. So usually there's a plan for each part of the race. You may break it into chunks three, four chunks of the race and focus on different things during each chunk of the race um, and kind of prepare for the, the end of the race when no matter what you do, it's, it's going to hurt. You have the trials for the Olympics coming up. Uh, is it around the new year? Uh, yeah, correct. I think it's uh, December 29th is when they begin. And how are you somewhere around there? How are you feeling about that? Are you uh, good? Ready? Having a well, there's a lot of time between now and then, but sure, having a strong start to the dryland season thus far. I'm here with Jamie Gregg, who is an uh, Olympian in the speed skating realm. You were at the Vancouver Olympics. I'm sure you get asked this a fair bit, but can you tell us something extraordinary about what it meant to compete on your home soil and represent your country? Well, with a sport like speed skating, it was the only time where we'd been in our home country and just the fan support has been overwhelming. I remember standing on the line announcing my name and I couldn't actually hear them announce my name because it was the roar of the crowd as soon as they said, and from Canada. So I kind of waved when I thought they were going to say it. And that's something that you never, you would never experience in Canada otherwise. And so it was just awesome. I think the whole city of Vancouver got behind the Olympics so, so well. And that just really helped us as a group kind of get energized. And I think that's why Canada gave such a strong performance. You uh, recently won a silver at the Worlds. Um, tell me what that was like for you. Yeah, it was, uh, they weren't like my best races, but they were strong races. I was really peaked for that competition. And so... Yeah, I skated well and was able to make the podium, so I was happy with that. What's it feel like to be standing on the podium and receiving a medal in, at that level where you feel like you're second best in the world in your discipline at that time? Yeah, I mean, it's a 500 though, so it's great, but you also know that within a tenth there was five more guys that could have taken your spot, but it was in Salt Lake City and my parents and my grandparents came down to watch, so it was really great to do that in front of them as well. Now there's a rumor that you're uh, getting married to Jeremy's sister, is that... Uh, the right yeah, person? it's more than a river. <laughs> Two days away, I think. So you've got this whole uh, speed skating family continuing on. 
Yeah, yeah, you know, Jeremy married a speed skater and now I'm marrying a speed skater, so hopefully Canada's gonna have some strong speed skaters coming up. Gotta keep the bloodline strong, I guess. <laughs> we'll see, we'll see. It's good, well, good luck with your wedding. All right, thanks. thanks.